Hello. I am uh, doing my best to. Uh... Amy Gonzalez, what's up? Channel Transparency, what up? What's going on? Frank Pants, hello, hello, hello. Mike Stevens, what's up, baby? Good to see you. We are doing a cop watch. It is uh, day is December 20th, 2022 at approximately 4.06 p.m. And we are out recording in public and we are going to see if everyone, especially uh, uh, government officials, police officers, uh, anybody that is uh, uh a public servant will uh, honor and respect my right to record in public as the blogger that I am, as the press that they always tell you to be, you know, uh, that is who I am. And uh, if I do engage or am engaged by people of the said people that I've stated, uh, I I know their particular oaths. I know the specific uh uh, policies that they, uh, the general idea of respecting the public. And as long as they do, I will honor and show and highlight that. If they dishonor that, I will show that. Um, I, I have, I have, I remember saying some words that were like, like that. Uh, there's gang activity. There, I, I remember saying something like that few months ago starting because it, it brought I'm waving in a state cop it, it brought uh, uh, <clears throat> the same words out of my mouth at that time when I knew that I was going to see and document tyranny at its best and we all know that as Taylor tyranny at its best and there's actually a series of it like one from five and uh we have um again uh taylor has uh there are some officers that are abusing their authority in that establishment and the chief it happened right in front of the chief and his excuse was you know bro sometimes people just get angry but i love your passion i love you man i love you man i'm serious you know, he wants me to believe that, but yet he witnessed the guy putting his hands all over me and knowing damn well the two tier justice system always goes in their favor and it's not the same. Well, I'm sorry, that's going to change. These things are changing right before their eyes, and it takes people in the public to come and come together to get these guys to honor their oath was created, it was created to be used correctly, not just because you can use it. So what they've turned, they've turned our hall of justice into a den of thieves. And uh, I am, uh, I am out here to just document this and some of their tyranny. Yeah, feel sorry for wherever they're going. Right here, because they don't own this alley. They don't own this, the majority of this alley. Mike owns it. And Mike gave me the permission to be the custodian of this property. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Woo, it's cold out here today. Listen, Taylor, police officers, I am not against you doing your duties. I, I, I swear to you on everything I love, it has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do in the mannerism and how you're doing it, okay? And, you know, since Borg has violated my rights several times, he's violated my rights, and he continues to do so. See how he's going over there? You know you're trespassed from this property, right? 
the owner's watching you, and he's going to go down and make the sheriff make you leave, Ford. Sir, what is wrong with you? Why do you think you're above the law, Borg? Officer Borg, why do you think you're above the law? Huh? Why do you think you can block a sidewalk and continuously think that this is okay behavior from a person that has taken an oath to the Constitution? 603 says you should be have your oscillating lights running while you are in a duty that vehicle code and you're not doing so. You think you're above the law. And if you lie on the stand, you're going to jail, you're going to lose your job. Remember that. Remember that I'm in a constitutionally protected activity. Don't lie. Yeah. I hear you, we the people. I hear you. The property that he stands on is right here. He's not allowed to be on this property. So I got to go down. What up, man? See, for those people that think that I'm uh, not uh, doing what I said I was doing, uh, and I don't have support out here, I do a little bit, I think. Uh, I hear a lot of people starting to catch on to what I'm doing. It's, uh, I'm not anti-cop, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just anti-bad cop. I appreciate police officers that are out here for the right reasons. And that's all about the public. It's all about serving the public. And if they're not serving the public, what are they doing? Oh. <sighs> What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? No, I can hear you. No. What? I wrote you a ticket for parking on turf, okay? I'm allowed to. I, I got permission. Traffic. I got permission. I got permission. Your vehicle cannot be parked on Yes, turf. it can. I got permission to do anything I want to. Information's on the bottom for Whatever. you. Whatever. You see, there you go again. There you go. This is called retaliation, and you just you just violated my Fourth Amendment right. <sighs> Told you guys. Told you. See, this shit right here is the problem that we have. He violated my immunity. He violated my enmity, and now he took off because he knows he's trespassed. So I'll get this thrown out just on that. That's why he's going down there to do. He's going all the way down there to do his job. All right. I was given permission to park on this property. And uh, you see what he's doing in retaliation. You see, that's what they do. I I'll get this thrown out. I'm not worried about it. If that's all it took is for you for me to put up a sign that there's a speed trap and you no longer can make no money, that's showing that you have interest in and, and retaliating against somebody that is doing what they're doing, what they're legally allowed to do. So I will fight this in court.
Wait till he gets his tickets. There's going to be a cop that's going to see what I'm doing and see the greater good. I'm doing the greater good right now, as they put it. For the people, because he's not right there. Get it? I guess I'll just ring the hell out of this phone. I mean, I can't cuss him out or dog him because he's not the one violating the law. But if they're going to purposely ignore me because they know I'm calling, it's just it's just ridiculous. Uh, continue to put in my uh, my PayPal, please, because this is starting to cost me money, guys. You guys want me to continue to do this. You got to get involved, man. And if you're not going to come on here and put your ass on the line, the least you could do is, uh, you know, Slap a few bucks in a PayPal for me. Appreciate it. Thank you, Winston. You know, I, I need to do uh why, why don't we do a, a I'm I'm losing my train of thought because I'm I'm watching something else happen way down here. We need to do a fundraiser, ladies and gentlemen. I I, I need to pay. Uh, some big shot attorney to come in because uh, um, somebody really good and I will give him all the credit in the world once we talk about it because I don't know if he wants me to say it or not but he's a really good guy and he put a line of questioning when I put Borg on trial when I, I'm going to go to trial I'm going to put him on the stand and I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna impeach his testimony. Reality of it, we will find here. Let's let's somebody go look at this. My mods, where are you at? Where's where's my mods at? Well, because, you know, he, he he got mad because it was in retaliation of that. You see that? He couldn't make no more money. You see you see where the speed traps are at? See that? He got mad at that. I'm not worried about that. It's just it goes to show you when people abuse their authority and think that they can do whatever they want, they can't. Now, these guys are parked all over the place. During uh, the uh, um, drink cruise, you don't see them writing them tickets there either. So, um, you know, that's just the that's just his way of saying, well, you know, he opened my shit, violated my Fourth Amendment right again, because he could have sent that ticket to the house. You know what I'm saying? That's a violation of my Fourth Amendment right when I said I don't want to. I don't want to roll down a window. I don't want to let you in. He violated my Fourth Amendment right. Flat out. Thanks, Gloria. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. If somebody would put my freaking PayPal in, I'd appreciate it. Cause uh that, that'll pay that, that'll pay that ticket. But you see, see the price of freedom. He's not there because he knows that I have the authority to do what I did. And he's mad. He's upset. Traffic right now, people are speeding right by and he can't get them. He can't sit here and get them no more. And so he's going to sit up there. See him up there? He's going to wait for me to leave. He's trying to tell me that I can't park here and I can park here. I'm allowed to park here. The law doesn't say that I that that that, that you uh Parking on turf. Here, I'm just going to go to the MCL that it's under. If there's no MCL on it, it's an it's a, a violation of uh, uh, it, it, it's uh, it's an arbitrary law. So. I go to Taylor, Michigan's 
codes, ordinance, and documents. I'm going to share this with you so I could show you the arbitrary facts that he is putting on a real ticket. This is not the first time I have seen this type of behavior. I will hit codes. Boom. 9906P is what's on there. Bam. Nothing comes up. Zero results. Ordinances. 9906P. Bam. Nothing comes up. Documents. 9906P for Paul. Bam. There it is. Nothing. It says 10 results. Where are they at? Where is it? Results per page is 10, but there's zero results. There's nothing there. No references, nothing. And this is the ordinances of the municipality of Taylor, Michigan. Oh, it's parked on Turfer sidewalk. <laughs> it's the same thing he's doing. Do you see? Plan, pitch, take, deny, ladies and gentlemen. See that? They blame you and gaslight you into believing that you're doing what he's doing. Your Honor, Exhibit A. This is the beginning of this. Your Honor, for the record, Your Honor, when... You should throw this out on the merits because this officer, you're saying that this officer's given himself permission to break the law. You cannot do that, sir. Somebody look that up. 9906P. Park on turf slash sidewalk. Again, ladies and gentlemen, like Cool Hand Luke, they are not going to break me. I stood there for over another, uh, I was there for over two, uh, two hours and 35 minutes. And I will show you the end result of, of you, you see it was daylight then and it's dark here. So uh, I, I go and I get my, uh, my sign. I, I take a I take a ride around to make sure that he's not lurking. Okay. I make sure he's not lurking. Uh, I have permission to be here. So that's Newland Dahl. You know what I mean? I'm 40 feet away from that freaking piece of we have made change, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, I made change because I stopped him. He no longer was harassing people while breaking the law. Now, if a police officer was to pull up, I'm just being honest. If a police officer was to pull up while right now, during this time, which he didn't, and do it the right way and not block that sidewalk, I wouldn't be so uh harsh to come out and and tell him uh how i feel about it and run the law concurrent because he would be within the parameters of the law in his mannerisms but unfortunately nobody had the balls to show up to do so because they were afraid that i was going to uh trespass the rest of them I ain't going to say, I ain't going to say anything. You know, as a matter of fact, he's within, when he parks where he parks, 
I am going to make that on there, but I'll, that's going to be a surprise. I ain't going to say it out loud because he's breaking. Now he's. I found another law. He's breaking. That is That is significant. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I stick around, and then I take a ride around the complex. Take around. I take a ride down Telegraph. They're waiting for me to leave. Okay. I'm going to go take a ride and come back. So we can uh, do some, some more investigation. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's Taylor. That's Taylor. That was their way of saying that he was pulling out. I should go back. Oh man, Borg is despicable, ladies and gentlemen. He really is. Fucking despicable. I had an old Coke in here that I poured out, by the way. When I got out here, that's, that's what I was doing was pouring out the rest of that Coke. Yeah, baby. Hmm. Go back. <laughs> Stop doing that, damn it. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this new Kimball. It, it does stupid shit like that. I don't I understand why it shakes like that. So I do go back. I do go back over there. I like somebody riding my ass. I can only go so fast. I got Taylor Tierney watching me. So I got to be the example. Got to follow the law. That was exciting. That's all flat rock. Yeah, baby. See, once I get this under control, we'll be able to go back to the normal cop watches I was doing. You know, I just feel compelled to stand my ground because this is where all this is going. And if I don't stand my ground, then I'm admitting that that I did something wrong. I got to stand my ground. I got to fight the ticket. I got to show that he was a liar. And I got to show where he gaslit me. I got to show where he might be committing uh, more uh, perjury um, under oath, you know? Because he's already took the oath. So when he wrote that, he was he was he definitely wasn't in his capacity. Right? He wasn't he wasn't in his own capacity. He was under the capacity of duty. So he was under his oath anyway. What that's what they don't understand. They've already taken oath. You're under oath, man. And if you're lying under oath, you, you need to be you need to be you need to be fired for that crap. Oh, it's your recollection of what happened. Bull. We're not hearing that crap. Yeah. We're not hearing it. Yeah, it's empty. He's not there. We just ain't hearing it, guys. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to tell you something. Damn it. Somebody listen to me already. What do I got to do? Put down my pants and show you my butt cheeks? What the hell's going on? You nasty bastards. You sons of bitches. What in the sham hell is going on? I man, I wish that thing would stop. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my other gimbal. I'm, I'm, I'm taking right, it back. Man. This thing shakes like Don Knotts. Fucking a. You fucking B. It has two holes. So that car has been watching me. This car right here. Oh, 
Sean Park in your safety in the safety area on the facility. Uh, there are cover rings now, no weapons, so are 17 years old, 16, this is 16, I'm not in awe. You see? You see what I'm saying, guys? It's just something I just can't understand. I don't know. You don't know nothing no more. Anyway, I'm just shit. You make me feel I wanna die. Uh -uh. <laughs> A black male with a white female who were in a black SUV, and they told the member that um, they did not get they want to see. They said no. Unknown if the people in the SUV were still in the lot, no gun was ever seen. They were heard in the lot. What's up, Dina? Here to you. Well, six is arrival. You call uh, what even for me? Like, uh, Nah, 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 nah. Go ahead. Nah, 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 nah. I didn't hear you guys falling out. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 man. Okay. Everyone really wants to go to work. Oh, you got So what I was doing there, ladies and gentlemen, was I was going to get my speed trap sign, and I was calling it a night. I appreciate you guys supporting me. I appreciate all of you. And remember, freedom ain't always free. So you got to go and stand with the big boys and come out. Because when the people are afraid of the government, it's tyranny. But when the people, but when the government are afraid of the people, it's, it's a democracy. Y'all have a good night. God bless. And I hope you enjoyed watching the change. I'm back quiet until the next one. See you tomorrow.